Okay guys, today I'm gonna be showing you what's inside my tackle bag for 2019. So first thing we have in here, it's really not much. I just, I think I have like a pack of swim baits. <laughs> yeah, we have like some Kytex women pack because my other stuff is actually right over here. So I got my stuff. Oh, I got these. Some young swim baits, um, striking super toe, uh, flukes, flukes, flukes and flukes, yeah. Then um, put that right there. So the first thing I have up here is a Senko, some Senkos. Now Senkos are very good for as a bait. <coughs> so the Senkos, if you guys are wondering, I got these Bass Pro Senkos. Bass, Bass Pro Senkos are okay. Got some weight to it, so that's that's a very good thing. Um, yeah, like, I used up most of them. The kit cost about six bucks, which is that's a steal for fishing. I only pay like two, three dollars a bag. The next thing we got the hard bits, spin baits. So first thing we got is this striking, um, uh, for, wait, striking, um, yeah, cotton, wait, square bill, striking, square, square bill by striking. Um, then we got this baby bass crinkly by Pasta Bell. Then um, I picked this um, little jerk bait up at Walmart for a dollar ninety six cotton cordell, and that's a spoon. I don't know what kind of spoon it is. Like I said, I've never fished spoons. Then um, we got this spinner bait by Cotton Cordell. Then we got this red and black Oahu Oahu spinner bait. Then, um, I picked this up at Walmart too, a dollar ninety six for a cotton cordel with this green bait. Got another cotton cordel. We got a Rapala. Yeah, and then we just got a buzz bait. It's not really organized right now. <coughs> gotta organize all this later. Next thing we got is random, not really anything in there. Got a little bobber. I just got a little frog by um, Booyah. <laughs> Next is this little jig box I made. I don't fish jigs as much. I just like collect them um, and use them sometimes when I feel like using them. First thing we got is this little black kind of bisty bug jig by striking. And this is like a little orange and black, I mean brown bisty bug. And then this is like a OD green or green pumpkin jig by striking this bug. If it's a, if the camera is shaky, I actually don't know where my tripod is, so I have to hold it by hand. So the next thing we got my terminal tackle. <clears throat> we got some extra white got hooks, got some swim baits, got some like cheap hooks picked up. I'm never gonna use those. Then we got some circle hooks for catfishing. We got a bunch of panfish hooks, little grab things on up there. Just some drop shot weights. <coughs> One thing I did for, uh, forget to pick up this year is um some split shot and bullet weights. Next thing we got is this little cotton cordel spinner bait. Like I said, I, I really use a lot of cotton cordel stuff. <coughs> then on this side over here, I just got those suffix monofilament and 12 pound i mainly don't really use this unless i'm like rigging up a reel which i probably do sometimes um this is elite so i guess it's gotta be good got a couple of fish ready on this line it's very good it hasn't broken on me at all but i'm gonna get some force um four or six pound test for a small game fish so yeah guys that's it for my tackle bag and i'll see you in the next one